there guys, it's me again Kevin Rick asking you, how are you with your modules? Well, in this video, pag-uusapan natin ang geometric sequence at kung paano kukunin ang unknown term ng geometric sequence. So, ang geometric sequence ay sequence in which each term after the first term is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by the common ratio. Na pag-uusapan natin ng arithmetic sequence ay sequence kung saan may ina-add ka na fixed number. Sa geometric sequence, you are multiplying a fixed number. And yung minumultiply mo na number na yun ay tinatawag na common ratio. So common ratio is the constant multiplier in a geometric sequence. And the letter R is used to denote the common ratio. So given this uh, geometric sequence, kung mapapansin nyo, may minumultiply na number. And that number is 2. So yung 2 na to ang ating common ratio. So 10 times 2 is 20, 20 times 2 is 40, 40 times 2 is 80, and so on. 2 is the common ratio. So let's look at the formula for finding the nth term of a geometric sequence. Obviously, mas maiksi siya kaysa sa formula ng uh, arithmetic sequence. So a sub 1 here is the first term. r is the common ratio, and r shouldn't be 0. And n is... Okay number of terms. So let's have some sample problems. Find the seventh term of the geometric sequence 5, 15, 45. So this problem is asking us to solve the seventh term. So for us to do that, we're going to use the formula. Papalitan natin ng 7 si n. Our a sub 1, the first term here is 5, so we are going to write 5. Yung R natin, which is the common ratio, for us to get the common ratio pala, uh, we divide the succeeding term by the preceding term. So that will be 15 divided by 5. And 15 divided by 5 is 3. So the common ratio here is 3. So we are going to... The common ratio is 3. And ang n natin ay 7. Don't forget kung anong sinulat mo dito, yun ang isusulat mo for n. Minus 1. And we're just going to solve for the result. 3, 7 minus 1 is a 6. Well, 3 raised to 6 is... <laughs> Wait lang, kinuha ko yung calcu ko. <laughs> well, a 3 raised to 6 is a 729. And 729 times 5 is 3,645. So the seventh term of this geometric sequence is 3,645. So let's have another problem. Write the first four terms of a geometric sequence whose first term is 8 and a common ratio of 3. So, ano kayang gagawin natin dito? Binigay yung first term, which is 8, and binigay yung common ratio, which is 3. So, actually, napakadali lang to. This problem is asking us to get the first four terms. So, kung first four terms yan, yan yung a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, and a sub 4. And take note, binigay yung first term. So, ang a sub 1 natin dito is actually 8. What about a sub 2? Well, binigay yung common ratio, i-multiply mo lang yung common ratio sa first term. And so, 8 times 3 is 24. To get the next term, we're just going to multiply the common ratio, which is 3. So, 3 times 24 is 72. And 72 times 3 is 216. So the first four terms of the geometric sequence is 8, 24, 72, and 216 respectively. Let's have another example. Find the nth or general term of the geometric sequence 2, 4, 8, 16, and so on. So yung hanapin natin dito is yung formula or yung general term. So for us to do that, we are just going to multiply what is known. So a sub n is equal to, what is the a sub 1 here? Ang first term natin ay 2, 
Ano ang common ratio? The common ratio is um, you get two consecutive terms, divide the second term by the first term. So that is 4 divided by 2. The common ratio is 2. And minus 1. So yung uh, general term, it's just a formula. And so I think hindi na natin pwedeng simplify yung formula na to. So this is the general term of this specific geometric sequence. Let's have the last Example, find the first term of a geometric sequence whose fourth term is negative 40 with a common ratio of negative 2. So, hahanapin natin yung first term kung saan binigay lang dito yung fourth term or yung a sub 4, which is negative 40, at yung common ratio, which is negative 2. So, paano kaya natin makukuha yung first term? Well, actually, we're just going to substitute this one. Since given si a sub 4, pwede natin siyang ipalit sa a sub n. Okay, so gawin natin yan. So a sub 4 is equal to a sub 1, ang a sub 1 ang hinahanap natin, times r, yung r natin, yung common ratio is given as negative 2. Since negative yan, we need to enclose it inside a parenthesis para hindi tayo malito soon if we're going to um, raise it to an exponent. Ang n natin is 4 minus 1. Take note na ang a sub 4 ay negative 40. So we are going to change that to negative 40. Ang a sub 1 ang hinahanap natin. And we're going to simplify what's in here. So negative 2. 4 minus 1 is 3. We simplify further. Negative 2 raised to 3 is negative 8. So para masolve na natin si a sub 1. Okay. Let's continue the solution here. Okay, we divide both sides by negative 8. Makakancel yun. Ang natira lang sa isang side ay a sub 1. And negative 40 divided by negative 8 is positive 5. So the first term of this geometric sequence is positive 5. So I hope natutunan nyo kung paano natin gagamitin yung general term of a geometric sequence para makapag-solve tayo ng iba't ibang problem involving geometric sequences. So there we have it, guys. Thank you for watching.